C'est très mauvais que le camp est mort. I wish you all the best with your career, and uh, how fun was it uh, to play a man who was so in charge of himself, but yet not really, because he seems to be at the face of so many others. Well, thank you for everything you said just before. Um, and um, it just, <laughs> once more, it's, it's just a very challenging and cracking part to get your teeth into because, yes, he seems in control, but because that's the important thing for him, right? The important thing for him is to appear to be in control and to be controlling everything, but it's all about the image and the surface. I think, I think, you know, down here, and like inside, it's like boiling with a lot of anger and, uh, and a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, asperities, a lot of, uh, sorry, a lot of challenges that he wants to succeed at. So she's trouble, I mean, Claire. But, uh, but, but all, the, all of the rest is, so, is very enjoyable. It's something, because that's not the kind of thing I can do in life, right? So that's why I act, because I get to know myself better. Like, who would I be if I get very angry? So, and it's very enjoyable to know that you can do that in a safe place where people will love you for that, as opposed to do it in real life. And the, uh, <laughs> I think it's a great way to do it. So basically the writer kept me in the dark, which I thought was, at first I thought, oh my goodness, that's rough, like that's not nice. And then I thought, oh jeez, it's, it's brilliant, because I didn't know, so how could I you know, play a spy better if I didn't know that I was a spy? <laughs> so that was a good thing, a good lesson. Is there going to be a season two? Yes, they've been shooting. Yeah. Yeah. Well designed, and I remember the tailor as well. Um, it was a wonderful man, so precise, so dedicated. So that was an absolute joy to wear those costumes. Was the wig comfortable? Yeah, the wig was fine as well. I got used to it. Because <laughs> you wore it very well. I'm Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hi there. Hello, Stanley. I'm Andrea from Las Vegas, by way of New Jersey. Welcome. Very nice thank to you meet so you. much for being here. No, thank you. And happy birthday. And um, if anyone has a chance to watch a charming movie, I think it was called Not Just Another Happy Not Love another Story, happy was it? And Gary Lewis was also in it. And Gary was in it. I, I, I can't wait to see him. I know he's around. <laughs> I haven't seen him in so long, and I love the man. So, yes, um, we met on this job. Yes. It was so charming. It's funny because I actually lie that I mean, my, my, my pickup line is to go to blush <laughs> and to get red and uh, you blush and, on command and crap. <laughs> <laughs> am, I not, am I not blushing right now? <laughs> Maybe it's the time. A little bit. Um, it's like I get I get very anxious when I need to actually pretend that I can do that. Like I, I, I can act it. But in real life, I'm actually very shy. So, well, but I, I, but I did, I did learn a couple lines. I did learn it in German, and, uh, but not in Italian. In Italian, it's uh, Buongiorno, Principessa. Posso offrirti un caffè? Oh. That works for me. <laughs> yes, I would like to go for a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was not that busy. I was just working on personal things and I thought, like, you know what, I was asking my, that question, how can I take care of myself? And, and I was like, I, can, I think I, you can take care of yourself by taking care of others. And therefore I signed up to do this, like, uh, I mean, it's an association called Secours Populaire in France, which is a great thing. They, 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 you know, they teach people how to be solidaire. I don't know how you say that in English. I'm sorry. It's, it's all about, like, giving, uh, giving to people and helping people in need. So basically, this association have different missions, and I'm working on this mission of like uh, I, I drive a truck, which makes me very happy. <laughs> I love driving in a truck in Paris; it makes me feel that I have a real job. <laughs> so you know, I, 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 the thing I do, the character, like I put on the cap, and like I'm 
Um, Sue did it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, they're even grumpier than actors. Like, you know, drive this. So I drive the truck around Paris and I go to like different supermarkets, grab some food, like the, the food that they, they, they won't sell the day after. You know, the, like the, the, the food that they will throw away instead of throwing it away, they give it to us. And I tour around all those supermarkets and bring the food back to this place where they store it and give it back to people that need it. And I realized by doing that for a month now, that is the best way I've found to take care of myself. Games from the World Cup. Oh. We're playing the finals on Sunday. Uh, it's like... <laughs> no, that's fair enough, that's fair enough. It's gonna be a great game. I have lost my head. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> it is speaks. Crying. <laughs> so should we uh, should we go from right to left? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's not ready. Laugh and the world lost with you. Cry and you cry on your own. Stop crying. Right, let's kick off with some questions for right. Hopefully it's for Stan.
but that was like you know the, the, the way some actors sometimes try to make you think that those scenes are really hard for you. Like that's a lie. <laughs> it's really fun. It's really fun. Sorry, I almost swear. It, it's really really fun to do. Really really fun to just like go deep into extremes and radical, hysterical, cry, whatever. So that was great, and, and especially because I trusted the director so much and the people around me that I had so much fun. And I was really, I mean, you know, once more, Katrina was just incredible in terms of, um, you know, the way some actors as well, they, they say it for they take. I don't know if you've heard about it, like, you know, you have your camera around you, and then the camera turns around and will the other actor. And so that sometimes, and I understand them, I don't blame them for that, but sometimes you do your side, you do your shot. And the person in front of you, he's got to rest a bit because he will focus on his shot. That happens. It didn't happen on that day. Whenever the camera, uh, the, the camera was rolling on me, Katrina was always full on with me. And that's a beautiful gift she gave me. So, yeah, it was the best day I had on the set. Or what's the difference, or how does it make the difference feel to you? Well, it, it's, a, it's a funny question because, like, uh, so I'm an actor, so I'm never happy. <laughs> uh, I try to be, but uh, but the funny thing is, like when I'm on set, I miss stage terribly and organically. I need it, and when I'm on stage, I'm like, oh, I want to be on set again. So it's like I'm always switching from one to both, and I don't have a particular like preference preference for any of those. I just I just feel still more at home on stage because I grew up. In a family with a dad that used to be, I mean, he, sorry, he would kill me. He's still a very big stage actor. So, <laughs> and, uh, and so, yeah, I, I think I got his passion. And, uh, and I need it because I think it's a place where you can take more time to work and explore more. So it's beautiful. But I'm, I'm very lucky to be able to do both. So, no, I wouldn't say I have any preference.